Let's set the scene. Mm. You have the go ahead for a new client shoot. You set the lights up exactly how you have learned best and use a great background because, well, that's all you've got. The setup all looks great and you capture the shots. The client is happy, but they could be happier. And here's why. You see, every brand has a color palette. Now this can be a color that's used in their logo, or it could be a color that is used on their packaging or product. What a brand really likes is if their content marries up with their guidelines. So the shots before were great. Well exposed, nice lighting, but it's just a generic shot. There's no ownership, there's no color, there's no brand recognition. If we were to introduce a color from that brand into the background, then not only will it increase the variety in your shots, it shows the brand that you have attention to detail and that you actually care about how these shots will be shown to their audience. If we compare the shots side by side, you can clearly see the added interest having color makes and how well it could sit on a brand's content feed. But color doesn't have to stop there. In fact, it can be used to make a product pop even more by using a contrasting or complementary color. Take, for example, this shot. Yes, we can make the background an obvious red to go with the brand, but let's actually go with the opposite. A very contrasting color helps to make the product pop against the background. Another example is by using a secondary color from the product. Take, for example, this pink. It keeps the color palette on brand and also allows for the product to pop well against the background. Experimenting with complementary or contrasting colors is a great way of adding originality to your shots. It also helps to give the brand their recognition and it also shows that you have paid attention to brand guidelines and color choices that they have used throughout their history. So the RGB light I'm using is the Amaran P60C and for what it can do, it's actually amazing value. Link in description if you wanna check out more details on that light. The Cider's Link app is great. Being able to choose the color on the fly from your phone. Sometimes lights are really high up and you can't get to them easily, or you don't wanna shake the light stand that it's on. Being able to control everything via the app flawlessly is amazing. Another amazing feature in the app is the color picker. And this is especially useful if you are trying to match a brand on set using other lighting. You just take a photo via the app and it will choose the color for you. Simple. So if you're looking to improve your product commercial work, I can highly recommend an RGB light panel. Hasn't got to be this one. There's definitely cheaper options out there, more expensive options out there as well. But having one that is connected to all my Aperture lights via the app is very useful. So if you're in that kind of brand and you have other Aperture lights, I would definitely recommend looking into the P60C. Let's give you a quick demo of how we can take something as simple as this can and elevate it by using RGB light. Let's set up the shot. Position your main key light to one side and slightly behind. This will help minimize the spill onto the background. Next, place your product in shot to see how it looks. In this case, it needs more light. Adding a second light source to the other side helps balance out the product exposure. Tweak the positioning of your lights to get the desired result. Tethering the camera to a computer really helps when setting up your shots, as you can use the large monitor for precise adjustments. Here, we want the light on the right side to only affect a certain area on the cam. Next, we can add some cheap and effective pieces of paper to bounce the main light to the front face of the cam. This will help bring out details and overall exposure of the product, all for a cost of literally nothing. Sometimes you just need to think of practical solutions that you already have for free. Now of our main lighting complete, it's time to add some color. For this brand shoot, we will apply a bright green to the background, which is used within their design. It always amazes me how you can turn gray paper into almost any color. Position your RGB light to get the look you want. For this ad, I'm moving the light closer to the background and at an angle which causes a quick fall off gradient into darkness. This is to help keep a moody look for the shots, but it also has a nice pop of color from the brand. 
Next, we can add the finishing touches, such as lighting tweaks and adding some water spray to the can for added interest in the shot. Place your product back onto your Lazy Susan or whatever rotating device you have and start to capture some rotation in camera. It's always a good idea to capture several rotations as you never really know how important they are until you're in the edit. Once you have the main shot, why not capture some added detail shots which can be used in the ad. Remember to tweak the lighting as you move the camera around. Here I like to shoot closer at an extreme angle and with the Sidus app I can try a creative intensity adjustment to the green light using just my finger and phone. Hopefully you found this setup useful. As always, use the gear you have. Just have fun creating content. The more you make, the better you'll become. Let's have a look at how this ad turned out. RGB light. Just one extra way on how you can improve your product commercial work. If you want to improve your product commercial work another way, check out this video on screen now. Catch you on the next video. Peace. So close. In their packaging or product. <laughs> and here's why.